Thank God it's Friday, we definitely cannot let this day go without bringing you the very best of entertainment news. This is VN News, we're coming to you from our studios there in Accra, Ghana. My name is Kelvin F. Mitchell. we are accessible on www.vnationtv.com. It's either you're watching us live on Facebook or from our TV channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to get a repost of every exciting program we have right here on VN TV. Also, follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Coming up on today's bulletin, John Dumelu fully declares political ambition. Samini warns prophets in Ghana not to prophesy about him. Jim Ike launches Oga Work app for artisans in Nigeria. Still coming up, Davido calls on fans to pray for him. And on the international front, Hollywood actress Nancy Nash honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Kelly Rowland gets temporary uh, matching tattoo in support of Demi Lovato, her close friend. Details of all the stories and sports we have coming up on today's bulletin. We'll go for a short commercial break. We'll be right back. My country people are on a day or Saturday don't reach for another bugger mock news on the way they do one. Federal government don't provoke follow people where they said codeine. Say everybody now for not. Nice. So they they drink up, full, full, full. They they swallow good. They know they put the mix again. Everybody now they drink up, walk like in the bottle. You hear this one to say because it go worry my friend now. Just come here. You hear her? No one. I found nothing. One of our honorable people they call her man. Yeah, yeah. You when they do face like crocroch. So <laughs> you are welcome. You might just pay you for this way you do. I like your. Your Gorima Pasha, your Gorima Pasha, not be your. Even the guy way they back, whether the DSS or na SS or na wanti wanti, the guy confused. If you say the guy don't make toast, he call, he call, he call, he call the spy, he call the do hair like this, he call the spy. Mock news, showing only on VNTV every Saturday at 14 GMT. <laughs> Right, welcome back. This is still VN News and we are just about to start. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also log on to www.vnationtv.com for more trending stories. Let's move straight to our first story coming from Ghana where John Dumelo fully declares political ambition. We all know that for the past couple of years now, uh, John Dumelo has been you know, fully involved in politics in supporting the, you know, the, 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 the passing party, the NDC which was uh, under the Mahama administration. Well, as he stands, he has come out to co fully conclude that or declare that he will be taking, he plans to take a seat in the voter region in the forthcoming election. We don't know how that is going to pan out for him, but we know that when it comes to uh, someone with the desire to do politics, that is John Dumelo, because his involvement in politics in the past couple of years now has proven to any, every every person that the guy is not just a businessman, he's not just an actor, he's also politician. Politically inclined. So if he wants to take a seat in voter region where he hail from, I think that is a, is a call in the right direction. We just have to wish him all the best. We know of renowned, politi uh, renowned actors who have moved into politics and are doing so well. We also know of those who started politics and are not doing so well. Well, I don't think John Dumelo coming out to declare that he's going into politics fully is not going to work out for him well. I don't think it's it's, it's not going to work out. I think it will definitely work out for John Dumelo. So John Dumelo fully declares political ambition. He plans to take a primary seat in the voter region where he's, uh, he's from. So wish him all the best in that his ambition. Away from that story, still in Ghana, uh, Samini warns prophets in Ghana not to prophesy about him. So yes, uh, for the past couple of uh, months now, we've not been hearing prophecies from uh, you know uh, prophets in regards to celebrities and their lifestyle. Remember how it was you know prophesied that everybody was going to pass on, and when she eventually passed on, most prophets took it as a trophy upon themselves to say that we saw this, we saw this, we saw this. Well, Samini has come out to say if you saw that, if you saw that, you cannot see mine. So he's come out to say that the prophet should dare not bring a, a death or a doom prophecy towards him. Now, he was speaking uh, on regards to a prophecy in Ghana and how uh, some men of God go out and go about putting out prophecies out there in regards to uh, uh, celebrities. Well, he's saying that the prophets in Ghana or the so-called prophets should not bring uh, a doom prophecy towards him. If they do, 
he's just gonna leave it to God, but he would not take it lightly with them at all. He would not take it lightly with them. So that is what Samini is saying. He's one prophet in Ghana not to prophesy about him. But interestingly, coming from a background of you know prophecy, I think if the prophecy is coming towards you, it will come out and they will say it. It will only not go in the right direction. That is if that prophecy is not truth or is not indeed coming from God. But at the end of the day, he's giving out his morning to prophecy to prophets, which then the person and see how that plans from the, for, for them. Away from that story, let's move to Nigeria where G Mike launches Oga app for artisans in Nigeria. In contributing his quota to reducing unemployment in Nigeria, our very own actor G Mike has taken it upon himself to launch an app where he gives uh, uh, people with special skills, people with skills, you know, uh, artisan skills in Nigeria that does, that does not have uh, their own office or space to carry out their craft. Now, he's created an app mainly to help these people so nollywood actor jim ike has joined the league of tech premiers in the country after the launch of his new app oga work oga work virtual application provides users the opportunity to locate artisans who can render any kind of services within their locality anywhere in the country now report says the app known as oga app is specially designed for artisans who have a passion for their craft but do not have a space or a store but quit for their services to be offered to end users now according to Jimai, the innovation idea of the app is to solve the issues of unemployment in nigeria and i think this is indeed a app every other person out there should patronize because the, the main aim of this one is to reduce the rate of unemployment in nigeria and you might launch in the uh, app uh, oga work i think it's uh, something that every other person should patronize and admire and you know follow after away from that let's talk a bit about david doe david doe was in the news a couple of days ago he and the show my love and all that well he's back in the news again this time around he's going mellow calling all his fans to pray for him so superstar davido has called on his fans to keep him in their prayers in a tweet on thursday the singer told his fans that he might have just recorded the biggest feature of his career so this is exactly what he posted he said keep me in your prayers i might have just recorded the biggest feature of my career that can literally change my life and also i finally got a date for release of Uwa Baby, clear your playlist, Daddy coming. So Davido has asked his fans. So if you're a staunch fan of Davido out there, you have to start praying for him right now, so that the record which he just uh, concluded on can come out big and change his life as he just made mention. Someone, when I told someone this particular story, the person asked, so if the you know the, the recording goes well, will he share the money with us? But at the end of the day, he's celebrating his success with us and wish him all the very, 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 very best. Away from that story, Tonto DK shares a photo of her new office under construction. So yes, our uh, uh, very own actress, Tonto DK, who is also an evangelist, yes, because she, she, she's now a staunch evangelist, seriously. So she's shared a photo of uh, a new construction which is going on for the foundation of the Tonto DK Foundation. So Nigerian actress and philanthropist Tonto DK has kick-started the construction of a new office for her foundation known as the Tonto DK Foundation. Now the popular actress turned evangelist shared a sneak peek photo of the ongoing construction other that it's part of a plans for the future now this is exactly what she wrote on a social media handle she says not all Thursdays are for throwbacks some are for future King Toto the turn to DK foundation so yes interestingly uh, that uh, that particular statement is striking you know what not all Thursdays are for throwbacks some are for the future and indeed this construction is for the future for the turn to DK foundation so wish her all the very best we're gonna see how that pounds out for her now, away from those stories coming from Ghana and Nigeria, this weekend a lot of events is taking place and one of such events is the Comedy Unplug with Legend, our very own Legend, one of VNTV's own Legend. Now, the Comedy Unplug, I think it's time, you know, the year is gradually coming, you know, to the, to the climax, so you need a laughter dose relax yourself so if you're in Accra, ghana you should not miss this comedy unplugged with legend now our, our comedians who are going to be performing include our very own parara uh, mj the comedian and nesco artists passing through includes uh, a tk and loudspeaker interesting someone's name is loudspeaker okay interesting so you want to see all this now this is taking place on the 28th of july and uh, it's going to be continuing for every last saturday of the month at the piano bar so yes it's the piano bar is at uh, teshi uh, nungwa first junction to greeter estate shell roundabout so you're seeing the flyer right now on your screen you can call the contact to uh, actually know how to to, to 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 attend this and get your ticket for all that i think it's high time you know you feed yourself with a lot of comedy 
though. So don't miss the comedy on Plunk with Legend. Our very own Parara will be performing live. For those of you who have been watching Parara on the Muffins and you want to see him live, I think the comedy on Plunk with uh, Legend is something you should attend to be able to meet all these amazing acts we have right here in Accra, Ghana. Now, away from that particular event, a movie is also premiering this weekend. It's premiering uh, tomorrow, actually, at the Global Cinema right here in Accra, Ghana. I told you lots of events are taking place. And um, it features season actors such as Elo from Nigeria, our very own uh, Nollywood actress. And of course, Kevin FNK is somewhere, somewhere in there. And I'm alongside amazing actors. So right now, I want you to watch the trailer. There's nothing you can pour into others when you're empty. Right, so that was the trailer of the movie Lipstick, which is premiering tomorrow. So if you happen to be around this uh, part of the world, Accra, Ghana, you wouldn't want to miss that movie Lipstick. A lot of intriguing storyline right in there. Now, those are the major stories we have uh, coming from Ghana, Nigeria, and some events I just brought to you. We'll go for a short commercial break. When we come back, I'll bring these stories from the International Front. Officer, oh. you give us office. Come here, you are saying officer. Gas up. There's nothing. We are checking the best on this name. There is one certain guy who will walk down one foot on that side. But I'm not and driving car. You are not driving car. Says, Why haven't you been one, picking your calls? I hope <laughs> what is this you're watching? Oh. Check that thing. Give it back! Wait! Give it this back! Is so funny. What program is this? I'm watching two papas on VNTV. VNTV? Oh, come on, nice. Everybody knows about VNTV. VNTV is an online TV. Wow. Yes. You can log on to www.vnationtv.com and you're ready to go. Just like that? Just like that. And the interesting thing is that we have so many amazing programs you can watch. And the coolest thing about VNTV is that, that you get to watch it anywhere. You can watch it on your smart TV, you can watch it on your smartphone, you can watch it on your laptop, iPad, anywhere. It's that cool. Wow. Let me get my stuff uh, so we can uh, go. Uh, not too fast. Why? I thought you wanted us to go to the mall. Yes, that was then. But now, let us stay home and watch VNTV. <laughs> Are you serious? Very, very serious. <laughs> I thought you were mad before. That was before. Or who don't like a wolf? Right, so welcome back. This is VN News coming to you from our studios here in Accra, Ghana. I just gone by a couple of stories from Ghana and Nigeria where you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a repost of this news bulletin and also follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Let's move straight to the international front where Hollywood actress Nancy Nash honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So Hollywood actress and comedian Nancy Nash has been honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Take it to her Instagram after the unveiling ceremony, the star of TNT friend Klaus recalled how her mother was short and brother made that. So um, after receiving this great honor, she shared the uh, life experiences she's had over the past couple of years. Uh, from somewhere small, from somewhere small to where she is today and uh, it's something to celebrate and she's really, really, really happy that her own star has been placed on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We wish her all the very, very, very best. Away from that story, Kelly Rowland gets temporary matching tattoo in support of Demi Lovato. So not too long, reports came out on Demi Lovato being hospitalized of overdose of drugs reportedly. It's not been confirmed yet. But as it stands, it seems Kelly Rowland and Demi Lovato are close friends. Now, in supporting her, Kelly Rowland has gone to get a temporary tattoo of uh, uh, De Demi Lovato's face on 
a hand. So a singer Kelly Rowland just showed an undying support for longtime friend Demi Lovato amid news of Demi's hospitalization of drug overdue overdose. Kelly took to her Instagram story to share a video of herself getting a temporal tattoo matching Demi's lion tattoo. She captioned the video, Got You on My Mind. Kelly and Demi met on the third season of X Factor back in 2013 and have been inseparable since then. Fresh reports claim Demi who is awake and talking will be returning to rehab once released from hospital. So these are some of the stuff the celebrities go through, you know, drug and you know, depression and all that. But stands, Kelly Rowland is supporting her close friend. So I think that is something every friend out there should do. Wish her all the very, very, very best. Finally, on the international front, for those of you who thought you would not be seeing or hearing from the camp of Game of Thrones anytime soon, well, I think you got to rethink because Game of Thrones to return to our screens first half of 2019. When it was announced that the final season of Game of Thrones would be coming a year later, fans grinned. Finally, fans have reasons to rejoice. Now, Casey Blois, HBO's president of programming, has said the show will be coming back in the first half of 2019. According to CNET, she said this while speaking to reporters during the Television Critics Association Summer press tour on Wednesday. So yes, Game of Thrones will be coming out pretty, pretty soon. And when the official or when the first trailer is out, we'll definitely will be bringing it to you right here on VNTV, the powers of entertainment. Well, those are the major stories we have coming from Ghana, Nigeria, and on the international front. Log on to our website www.vnttv.com for more trending stories. We'll go for a short commercial break. God will be bringing it to you sports. We'll be right back. Home no extra because focus sports will make you addicted to the game. I will be your master cook, serving you a wonderful dose of football, basketball, volleyball, cricket. Elki, mention them. It's live here on VNTV. Focus Sports comes your way this and every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Done always standing. On Monday, I'll bring you the super mega special edition of Focus Sports here live from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m bringing you the very latest of headlines making waves in ghana nigeria west africa africa and the world in entirety you can also contribute to the success of the show with your messages via whatsapp instagram social any social media handle just mention it it's live here on vntv my name is godwin godwin ni amatego and i'm the host for focus sports focus sports the powerhouse of sports Excellent and welcome back from that set of commercial break. My name is Gordon Yamatego and it's time for VN Sports with me, Gordon, to present you and walk you through the hour of sports. Now let's start off on the local terrain and coach Yusuf Basigi has announced or released the 21 women squad for the France under 20 women's World Cup. You might be very much aware that the World Cup took place in the month of June. This time we are going to focus on the women's version of the World Cup which is also going to be the under 20 version. So Ghana will be participating. We have been joining the same group as France and a host of other countries in that particular group. Let me walk you through the list of players that will be making up for that particular list. Now, for the goalkeepers, Esther Ajeman is in here. Anand Martha, McCarthy, Kerry. For defenders, you'll be having Egan, Cecilia, Trinibor, Justin, Amwaku, Linda, Anani, Belinda, Bedu, Evelyn, Agbonaji, Shine, Asamoah, Joyce, and Isuaku Felicity makes up for the defenders. Now, for the midfield, the engine room of the team, you'll be having a Santua Grace, a Champion Grace, a Bambila, and a Stina. She's a very wonderful player, if you'd ask me. Anochi, Olivia, Ajiman, Edu is also near. For the forwards, those are the players that will be giving the chances to be scoring a lot of goals for Ghana. Now, Obin Elena is in here, Enima Ruth, Patience Peterson, Sandra Owusu, and Sain, and Rafia Larson. Unfortunately, our main um, goal getter in the person of Priscilla Adobe will be missing in action. It's quite unfortunate that. Such a, a prolific striker won't be making up in such a huge competition where Ghana has failed to move out of the group stage. Hopefully, we'll be able to do something profitable over there. And let's focus on the collective and focus on the international scene where the International Champions Cup is still ongoing. And on Saturday, we'll be having quite an avalanche of exciting, entertaining, and trolling, mouth watering clashes, if you'd ask me. 
why am I saying that? Because Arsenal will be locking us against Paris Saint Germain. So United Emery will be coming up against his former side. So we expect fireworks uh, from Arsenal and also Paris Saint Germain. Not forgetting Benfica will be playing against a Ronaldo less Juventus. You might be very much aware that Ronaldo moved from Real Madrid to Juventus on an 88 million pound sterling move from Real Madrid to Juventus. So uh, it's unfortunate he will not be participating by the likes of Daniel Rugdani and then also the host of other players that will be participating in the game will be expecting fireworks from them Chelsea will be playing against Inter Milan and then you'll be expecting Mauricio Sarri the Sarri ball to be taking place over there Chelsea against Inter Milan a good test for Mauricio Sarri to test the likes of Jorginho and then the likes of N'Golo Kante will not be participating Eden Michael Lazar will also not be participating but Ethan and Pedro David Luiz Moreira Marino and a host of other good Chelsea players will be in here and then Manchester United against Liverpool will be a battle of the red so which red is thicker is it Manchester United or Liverpool your guess is as good as mine now Bayern Munich against Manchester City is going to be an entertaining fixture and then last not least on Sunday we'll be having Barcelona against Tottenham Hotspur absolutely a phenomenal match if you ask me Barcelona will be testing the likes of Malcolm in this game so maybe just maybe we'll be seeing Malcolm in this game and then the Barcelona supporters uh, will be wanting to see the, the fast paced uh, winger cast in the mood of Malcolm now Let's return to Africa and focus on the Cup Configuration Cup because Adrian Stars are going or traveling all the way to Congo to face up against AS Vita Club in their return leg. Now, a few weeks ago, they were able to defeat AS Vita Club by two goals to one. So, hopefully, if they travel to DR Congo, they'll be able to record that same feat. It is going to be very difficult. I know it's arduous, but maybe, just maybe, with the sushi tactics in the mode of Kenichi Yatsuashi, who is the manager or the gaff of the club, they'll be able to get a three maximum points. Now, AS Vita Club against Adriana Stars on Sunday, and then Kara Braza will be squaring off against Joliba of Mari. Uh, Yudi Songo will be locking us against Al Elal Omduman. El Masri will be playing against Bekane. Wak of Ivory Coast will be squaring off against Enyimba. Young Africans from Tanzania versus Gormaya of Kenya. Raja Casablanca, they are in the same group as Adriana Stars will be locking us against Asek Mbosa. And then USM Orges against Rayon Sports. Away from that, and let's delve to international news once more time again. Now, Ronaldo has been given a two year prison sentence after striking deal over tax charges the new juventus signing will not see the inside of a prison cell but must pay a hefty fine after coming to an agreement over tax evasion allegations cristiano ronaldo dos santos a very old commandant will accept a two-year prison sentence and a fine worth 19 million euros after striking a deal with the spanish authorities over tax charges the ex real madrid striker now at juventus pleaded guilty to four charges of evasion between 2011 and 2014 with a total of 14.7 million euros now according to efe that amount has been reduced in his guilty plea to 5.7 million euros although taking into account fines interest and other costs there's some ascents or appreciate to a figure of 19 million euros now let's move away from ronaldo and focus on killian mbappe loting the young sensation if you would ask me he looks more or less like someone who can fit into the shoes of a kid um, ronaldo he has also done something very talented while well, something very um, in terms of branding marketing something very good now KM7, that is the new tag name for a killer in Mbappe Lotin. The teammate sensation believes his new number shows his immense ambition as he looks to cement his place as one of the best players in the world. Kylian Mbappe Lotin already looks destined to replace Ronaldo as one of the world's biggest stars. But the Paris Saint Germain star seems to be going further to challenge the Portuguese legacy. The Frenchman has become a global sensation since his transition from AS Monaco to Paris Saint Germain and his stock has increased uh, uh, tremendously a year after PSG made him the world's most expensive teenager in a move with a potential 180 million euros in Bappi has fired his country to World Cup success and expects to have a chance of ending Ronaldo's own on the Ballon d'Or or the FIFA best. Now let's enter into the transfer market. It will be a footballing scene, it will be a sporting scene for us not to enter into the transfer market knowing very well that we are in the spirit or in the atmosphere of transfer where players are moving left, right, center. And then Edison Roberto Cavani Gomez of Matador has appeared to be um, the latest potential target for Real to be the replacement of Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos, a very old commandant. 
Real Madrid CF have shifted focus away from Edin Michael Azar to South American star Edison Roberto Cavani Gomez as they seek to replace Cristiano Ronaldo. The European champions lost the Portuguese star to Juventus for £88 million sterling and have been linked to the Chelsea superstar all summer. Azad enjoyed a fine summer World Cup as Belgium advanced into the semi finals and finished in third position. Despite just two years left on his contract, the Blues have reportedly demanded a staggering £178 million sterling, which would make Azad the second most expensive player of all time. That has led to the Los Blancos cooling their interest in switching focus to Edison Roberto Cavani Gomez El Matador, who would be open to moving to the Spanish capital, reports AS. And on that note, we need to bounce out from this studio and transfer from the studios of Focal of VNTV and move to a different location. On that note, the act of being a very good guest is not going to say goodbye. My name is Godwin Amatego. Home no extra because Focus Sports will make you addicted to the game. I will be your master cook, serving you a wonderful dose of football, basketball, volleyball, cricket. Elki, mention them. It's live here on VNTV. Focus Sports comes your way this and every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Done always standing. On Monday, I'll bring you the super mega special edition of Focus Sports here live from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Bringing you the very latest of headlines, making waves in Ghana, Nigeria, West Africa, Africa, and the world in entirety. You can also contribute to the success of the show with your messages via WhatsApp, Instagram, social, any social media handle. Just mention it. It's live here on VNTV. My name is Godwin. Godwin Ni Amatego, and I'm the host for Focus Sports. Focus Sports, the powerhouse of sports. Right, you welcome back. This is still VN News coming to you from my studio here in Accra, Ghana. So you got Ibra Sports? Yes, um, a Kevin lot is happening here. Right? Absolutely, the transfer market is absolutely exciting. Left, right, center. Yes, I'm moving. Moving. I wish I, I should be transferred. Won't you get for a transfer? Oh, why not? If you're moving, what team will you be transferred to? Oh, maybe I'll be playing for Real Madrid CL. Real Madrid CL. Okay, yeah. I'll play for DL. If I for <laughs> CL, so we brought to you a lot of stories. Um, this weekend, tomorrow to be precise. Uh, there's a program coming up, which is the legend and the, the comedy on blog. Have you heard about it? Certainly. You know, um, after a grueling week, you need to go back and relax and then mm -hmm. get some stress, release your, yeah. that stress from you during the course of the week because it's very exciting to watch the likes of uh, um, Paran. Paran. I you Paran. From Paran, Paran, Paran the, the legend. They are absolutely yeah, mind, mind blowing people. because the sort of jokes they will crack. My God, it's absolutely wonderful if you ask me. Yeah. So you have to be there this uh, uh, this this Saturday, as I made mention when I was bringing the updates about the event. You have to be there. And also, a premiere is coming up. Lipstick. Lipstick. I don't know if you've seen I, the trailer of that film. Yes, but the the the, the caption of the movie lipstick. lipstick. It's, it's, it sounds a little bit. I don't want to continue. You, you 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 don't want to continue. That is why you have to come say it. Also. Yes yes yeah. So for those of you who happen to be around the crowd, we just besides the uh, lipstick is premium at the Global Cinema tomorrow from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So you want to see that. Well, we brought to you a whole bunch of stories. Some of the headlines we brought to you includes the fact that uh, John Dumelu fully declares political ambition. Samini warns prophets in Ghana not to prophesy about him. And Jimai launches Oga app uh, for artisans in Nigeria. The video calls on fans to pray for him. Hollywood actress Nancy Nash on a with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And finally, Kelly Rowland gets temporal marching tattoo in support of Demi Lou Badge. Videos of all these stories and sports we brought to you earlier on in today's. I hope you're gonna enjoy your weekend. Certainly. Now with an avalanche of sporting activities taking over, why not we are enjoying my own plus comedy on yeah. with Pararan. Whilst I watch football, I also go and watch yes. um, Pararan entertain exciting with legend as well. Of course. So a lot of stuff happened this week. Certainly. So make sure you get yourself entertained. Once again, my name is Kevin Afinje. And my name is Godwin Niamatego. Actually, I left the studios prematurely, but Kelvin brought me here to <laughs> round out <up> everything. <laughs> So the act of being a good guest is not going to say goodbye. My name is Godwin Niamatego. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs>